Shure, and you're watching Celebrity Optimist Television. Good morning, gents. Look at this. We're in the same clothes. You know we went back to your place last night. You're not going to come home? At least call. Mother and I were very worried. This is James Shure from the show Men at Work. It's a new show on TBS. Uh, happy to be on it Thursday nights, 10 o'clock, I think, near you. It's a show about um, four guys that work together, play together, laugh together, cry together. Um, I don't know, I think it's 30 minutes of fun and funny, so uh, I hope you guys will, will watch. It was uh, created by Brecken Meyer. Uh, he wrote the pilot, and I, I like the pilot, pilot immediately. Uh, I like the humor of it. And so um, when I read it, uh, you know, I said to myself, those are things I want to be a part of. And so I went through the audition process. I was fortunate enough to be hired on it. And what it is is basically about four guys kind of coming uh, of age some more. They're adults, yet they're at another uh, phase of development and learning. And uh, they kind of use each other to learn and to support each other in a, in a comical way, I hope. I'm hoping that people are enjoying it and laughing at it. He's a good friend to his, to his friends as well. Can't dwell on this breakup forever. It's been like an hour. <laughs> and yet we're still talking about it. And he's uh, sort of open and um, willing to do a lot for his uh, extended family there. And, and I like playing that. Boy, love Vegas. Uh, you know, those are sort of kinder, gentler shows, which I appreciate with this one. Has a bit uh, some edge to it, some uh, adult kind of slant to it, which I I like. I like kind of getting irreverent a little bit, and uh, so we, we have that here. Can I help you with anything else? <laughs> they know I can see them, right? Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> and we, but we have some sweetness too. Every now and then, every now and then, um, yeah, we're okay with being a little adult about that. A celebrity can be uh, anybody of any capacity. Uh, you know, this is be teachers, celebrated police officers, military men and women. It should be celebrated. I'd like to be able to use any kind of quote-unquote celebrity that I have to do positive things. So I, I'm thankful that I'm able to be out here right now to help build a home for some folks maybe in need. So uh, I like that aspect of celebrity. You know. It, when it can be used to uh, do more positive things in the world, I can really support that. To stay safe, stay out of people's way, and uh, to be a help instead of a hindrance. That's why I got my heart hat, baby. <laughs> it's uh, the men of work is well received by millions and millions of people for uh, some time. And then uh, for the Habitat for Humanity, I hope that we can build a beautiful home that uh, some folks can really enjoy and um, enjoy living in. You know, I don't know when I, I don't know when homes are happy and communities are happy. I think that all that kind of vibrates and you know spreads throughout the world. So hopefully, even if we just plant a seed right here and start it right here, they can just build and build and build and make this uh, world a better world. substandard poverty housing, not only throughout greater Los Angeles, but throughout the world. There are over 2,050 affiliates, we call them affiliates, throughout um, the world. We're in over 90 countries, about between 80 to 90 countries worldwide, and then there's an affiliate in every single state in the United States. My name is Amanda Jordan. Um, I have, I'm a single mother of three kids. Um, 
Um, I have a two-year-old, an eight-year-old, an 11-year-old, and um, I just re uh, received my keys for my Habitat home um, Easter Sunday, and um, it's been an awesome experience. Because partner homeowners have to qualify for a Habitat for Humanity home, it's not a giveaway program, it's not for homeless people, it is actually for hard-working, low-income families and individuals that have jobs, have been on a job for a while too, have decent credit, they have to qualify, um, are willing to partner with Habitat for Humanity, um, and by partnering they have to put in a certain amount of sweat equity hours, up to 500 hours towards the actual building of their own homes. So that's why it's a hand up, not a hand out, because it's not a giveaway. They actually earn and work for their home. We have to take a class, a HUD class, to show us how to manage our money and how to be a first time homeowner. And, um, the, and they just, um, they do it on your income, you know, how much you make a month. And um, we just, and then they give us like, you know, how many hours we have to volunteer. And um, they let our parents, our friends, family help us with the hours. It is actually a community thing. Everybody, it's a pay it forward type of um, program where everybody helps everybody else. And just because you're through doesn't mean that you have to stop being involved with Habitat for Humanity of Greater LA. Instead, you can come out and not only put in sweat equity hours, you can just volunteer. You can get your children, your um, workplace involved. You can do a build day with your church. I mean, there's so many other ways to stay involved with Habitat and continually help propel our mission. I've been um, volunteering still after I got my house, you know, because it's just an awesome experience. It's been a blessing, and um, a lot of people still, you know, need homes like I did. So I still, you know, get my hands dirty and <laughs> volunteer to help out. I helped to run the Hollywood for Habitat for Humanity division, which is unique to um, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Los Angeles. And we did that. We built with other actors, entertainers, writers, producers, directors, agents, managers, athletes, and we built on this uh, lot uh, put up hundreds of frames for homes and ship them actually to New Orleans. And we also, a lot of us did go to New Orleans to help to build there too and to help with um, the aftermath of hurricanes Katrina and Rita. Just think about this. Every six minutes, a Habitat for Humanity home is built or renovated somewhere in the world. So that means during this conversation, we've already completed or built or renovated two homes somewhere in the world. Our Habitat for Humanity of Greater Los Angeles affiliate has built or renovated over 700 homes, both locally and worldwide. We've built over 500,000 homes worldwide, serving more than 2.5 million people and individuals and families. Habitat for Humanity of Greater Los Angeles is one of the affiliates that definitely builds sustainable, affordable housing. So we build with green features in mind. We put in low VOC paints so that kids with any kind of asthma or allergies, that reduces that greatly. We put in recycled carpeting from Bentley Prince Street, so we have several partners that partner with us. We put in Whirlpool Appliances, they're an inter they're national partner, and so we put in these Whirlpool Energy Star Appliances to reduce the energy costs for these families and individuals, as well as um, the windows, you know, double pane windows, solar paneling. We got solar paneling donated from the Emmys last year, so we're putting them on some existing homes that we have, as well as some of our new homes. So we work closely with the entertainment community so that we can provide uh, sustainable homes and keep with the green factor as well. I just wanted to encourage people, you know, to jump on it because, you know, it's been such a blessing for me being single, you know, a single mom with kids to be able to own a home. So it's like, you know, it's an awesome experience, especially, you know, people in need like me because I come from a three-bedroom home with 13 people, you know, to a three-bedroom home just for me and my three kids so it's an awesome experience and you know you get to meet a lot of people you get to do a lot of things that you never thought that you would do <laughs> and um, I just encourage a lot of people to you know to get involved in this qualifying for a home or volunteering it's, it's an awesome experience. 
<laughs> it's such a privilege and a pleasure to work for Habitat for Humanity in Greater Los Angeles and just for Habitat for Humanity in general because we really, 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 it's something that's tangible. And so, you know, like the corporation that's out today, they're actually paying to have a bill day with us. They pay to play. But other corporations can do the same thing and promote synergy, team building. It really helps to propel the mission of Habitat for Humanity. And it gives them a chance to, to bond and to do something with coworkers from other departments that they may not have even met before or do anything else with. And then to have actors and producers and athletes and things like that out on our build sites, it's just an extra bonus. I'm here today because uh, I want to be part of this uh, Habitat for Humanity, uh, giving back to, uh, to the society, uh, to people who deserve to have a home. And I'm so uh, proud and uh, so honored to be part of this project. I'm a philosophy professor at Cal State Long Beach, and uh, the university encourages people to get involved. About September last year that we started. I've known about it for years. I mean, I saw Jimmy Carter building houses, and I always wanted to volunteer. And then my neighbor he showed me where the website was, and so I started volunteering. And uh, you know, we've been coming back whenever we can. We do it because uh, you know, unemployment in the state is 11 percent right now, and people need help. And uh, you know, you've met that family. It's going to make every, every difference in the world. You know?